Okay, okay. Hey guys, so as you can see today, we're gonna to be making a pretty complicated object. So make sure you've done some of my other objects first so that you have some base knowledge. Um, this is definitely not one you want to start with. <laughs> so um, we're gonna be making a walkie talkie today. Um, complete, it's got like a charger port, a little battery pack, a little button on the side. Um, so it's got a lot of really cool stuff, um, but it is going to take a while, so strap in. Um, go ahead and open up a new scene, and then what you're going to be making is a cube. Um, I made my cube 2 by 4 by 2 and then you can make the divisions 6 by 8 by 4 And then go ahead and change the Y to 2 so that it's on the ground. All right, next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, just making the basic shape of the walkie-talkie. So um, make sure you have some sort of reference out so that you can be looking at it while you are modeling. All right, so in front view, go ahead and go into vertex mode and then select the top four rows of vertices and stretch them slightly out to make the top like a little bit bigger than the bottom. Because you know how walkie-talkies are usually like trimmer at the bottom so that you can hold them. Um, so yeah. Go ahead, click R, and then just scale them up a little bit. I know it's going to look weird right now, but we'll make it look better in a while. Okay, so about halfway, um, you want to add a multi-cut below the second row. So I'll, I'll show you how that looks. Um, go ahead and go into multi-cut tool, this guy, and then... Um, it's below the second row from the bottom. So like this guy is the second row. Go ahead and add a multi-cut right there. And then um, select those three rows. So go into vertex mode, click Q, and then select these guys. And then you're gonna bring them in just a smidge. And then I'm also just going to bring in, eh, that was a little too far, maybe go out a little bit, bring this guy in. Actually, I think, I think I'm going to do this a little bit higher up. So I would add it, add the multi-cut. Go ahead and add the multi-cut, the second row from the bottom, which, so that's that guy. So add a halfway cut right there. Hold control, press uh, your middle cut, okay? And then select those three rows of vertices. Click Q. And then you're going to just move them in a smidge. And then take this middle row and move it in even just a little bit more. Just to make like a little, little indent. Um, okay, so that, that looks pretty good. I think now what we can kind of do is... Um, Go ahead and look at the top to make the antenna. So we're going to be making another multi-cut um, on the top of the walkie-talkie that's surrounding the first line to the left. So let's go ahead into a multi-cut tool and then hold control and just add multi-cuts all along that top like that just holding your middle click okay and then I think I'm also gonna do it this way just so I have more divisions to play with okay all right I like how that's looking go ahead and go back into um, face mode click Q and then we're gonna be selecting for these vertices I think maybe these would be pretty good for the um, for the antenna. I also think that maybe we should just do like these guys. Okay, so you're just gonna select all these guys just like that, those 16 squares, extrude them. And then what I want to do is delete these edges. All those guys. Okay, go ahead and select this face and then circularize it. 
change your radio offset so it fits in the mesh. Change your twist so it fits as well. All right, and then you can go through and delete these edges as well around the circle. Go ahead and go into face mode, click this circle, extrude it, and offset it by like 0.05. And then let's go ahead and extrude and thicken by 0.1. All right, and then go ahead and extrude and offset by another 0.05 and then extrude and change your thickness to two. All right, and then with that top face selected, extrude and offset by 0.05 again, and then extrude and thicken by 0.05. That way it comes to more of like a little point. Um, we might go in and scale that down a little bit. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it feels, okay? All right, so next let's kind of work on some of these buttons. So go to the front of your walkie-talkie, go into face mode, and then let's go ahead and select this second row of vertices and extrude an offset like 0.05 and then extrude and thicken by 0.1. All right, um, next thing you're gonna do is select the um, faces that are vertically below that face and then um, extrude those as well. So let's just select those guys. We might actually even just do that. Now actually, let's just do one. Extrude, offset by 0.05 again and then extrude and thicken by 0.1, okay? All right, if you press three, you can see like our buttons kind of forming. Now let's go ahead and select this on the inside, these guys, and then you can extrude those guys, and then extrude by point, or offset by 0.05, and then extrude, and push it in by negative 0.1. So it's going the opposite way. And then our last one will be these faces down here. Extrude, offset that by 0.05, and then extrude and thicken by 0.1. So now we've got all our little buttons on the front, just like that. All right, next thing we're going to be doing is um, making the little vents down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another multi-cut right here so that it's even. So these will be like our four vents. So go ahead and just click in face mode. I'm just gonna do those guys. Extrude, offset in by like 0.05. And then extrude and push into the mesh. I don't know, maybe like 0.7. And then do the same for the other guys. So that one and that one. Extrude. Offset by 0.05 and extrude and push into the mesh, negative 0.7. So those are like our little vents. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm noticing that like I feel I feel like my walkie-talkie is a little too bulky. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is um, just change the depth. So be in object mode, and then go over on. The, the right in attribute editor and go to the thing that says polycube one. So change the depth to one and then it'll kind of shrink your object like that. Now our antenna looks way better, that's good. All right, sweet. Make sure that your um, vents aren't like sticking out the back. <laughs> if they are, just select those faces and push them in. Um, luckily mine's not, I don't think so. Yeah, no, they had plenty of space. So if you do 0.7, you should be totally fine. All right, okay, so I think what we're going to be doing next is um, doing the battery pack on the back. So go into faces, face mode, um, click um, the small faces on the bottom, so these guys. And then extrude, 
by an offset by 0 0.01 and then um, extrude. Oh, and then select these faces on the border. So by just clicking one and then holding shift and double clicking on the one right next to it, extrude those guys and push into the mesh uh, 0.1, okay? That gives you a little battery pack like that. All right, next, uh, let's go ahead and make the button on the left. So go ahead and just uh, click, maybe let's use like these faces for it. Or we could even just do these guys. Yeah, let's do those. Go ahead and um, extrude an offset by 0.1, and then extrude and thicken by 0.1. There we go, easy. Next, let's make the uh, charger port. So let's do these two and then extrude and offset by 0.1 and then extrude and push into the mesh negative 0.3. All right, just like a little easy USB-C. All right, so basically all we have to do next is just um, bevel all the edges that you wanna bevel. Um, it's kind of up to you which ones you want to bevel. You don't have to bevel them all or any of them. Totally up to you. Um, I think the only one that I would probably want to bevel would be like that guy. Um, so I'll just click this guy and bevel it. Control B, two segments. Um, yeah, I like how that looks more. And then I like how the buttons are looking on the front. I don't really think I need to bevel them. The vents are pretty good too. The antenna's looking nice. Yeah, actually, I don't think I'm gonna bevel any of the edges. I feel pretty confident with them. Um, but totally feel free if you want to. I noticed that like there is some places where it like goes in like that. So maybe I'll bevel this one, just like the bottom edge basically. Um, but you totally don't have to. It does end up usually looking better, um, so it's not a bad idea, but it's kind of just up to the modeler, so. Um, yeah, I like how that looks a bit better. All right, so that's basically a super simple walkie-talkie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we should hopefully be tackling some cooler objects like this in the future, so if you like this one, um, you know, stick around, um, and I'll see you guys next time for whatever we're making next. Bye, guys.